Hello folks, and welcome back to the third video in this iRacing Essentials series. This one is gonna be focused on seating position, uh, and I don't mean physical seating position, uh, where you're sat in the rig, I mean in sim seating position within uh, iRacing itself. Now, if you've watched the first two videos in this series, uh, you'll have worked through the triple monitor setup. Uh, you will have worked through the field of view setup in the last one. And then this final video really is to fine tune that in-sim seating position uh, so that it's as realistic uh, as you can get. But more importantly, you're at a position inside the car where you're comfortable uh, that you can kind of see over the dash or as much as you need to. Uh, and as required, have an okay view uh, out of both of the side windows uh, and ideally into your wing mirrors. Now, it's not perfect uh, and every car is different. You know, the A pillars will get in the way on some cars more than others. Um, but just understanding how to adjust the seating position on a per car basis uh, can just help you fine tune it. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. Both of them are in the sim itself. Uh, so just give me a second here. I'm going to load up the sim. We'll jump into the car uh, and then we'll quickly talk through how to make the changes. Okay, so I've jumped in the sim. I've loaded up the Lamborghini right into Lagos. Uh, I've loaded this car in particular because I know the seating position uh, is set at the default. Uh, so it probably isn't right. So we can go in there and we can make some adjustments to that. One thing to bear in mind uh, before we make the changes is if you go into options and you go into the option tab, you'll notice that there is something here called driver height. Uh, and you can see in the tooltip, you know, it's gonna adjust the driver's head up and down for all cars. The challenge for this uh, is it will retain the same driver height for every car that you're in uh, and effectively set that as the seating position. So if, you, if we were to jump into the Porsche, uh, and of course the Porsche is different to the Lamborghini, then we probably have to adjust the driver height to suit it. But it doesn't save it uh, on a per car basis, so it's a bit of a pain. You have to then make those adjustments in every car, in every session you go into. So I would ignore driver height here, you know, unless you really do only drive a single car in the sim. Uh, what we want to do is be able to set the seating position, including driver height on a per car basis. Uh, fortunately, iRacing has a way for us to do that. First thing to do, uh, you're just gonna wanna jump in the car just initially, just so that there's a record in the replay of you being sat in the car. So you only have to be in there for just a couple of seconds. Uh, then we will come back out. Now you wanna set the replay camera to cockpit. And the reason we're doing this is because what we're effectively doing is we're changing the camera position when we're in the cockpit. But what that's really doing for us is when we're in the car is adjusting our seating position, which is awesome. So when you're in cockpit view and replay, you wanna hit control F12. That's gonna bring up this camera edit tool all sorts of things you can play with here for the purposes of seating position. All you need to worry about are the offsets uh, on this top row here. So offset X, Y, and Z. Z uh, will control the vertical uh, and the Y and the X will adjust the other axes as well. Typically what you'll find is you probably only need to adjust driver height, um, but if for some reason you are slightly offset uh, to the left or to the right uh, in the car, uh, or the angle of the seating position seems a little bit off, then you can play with the X and the Y as well just to get it exactly right for you. So this is uh, the camera edit tool. Now, first of all, let's just jump into the car. Let's see how the current camera position is and I'll switch on uh, the dash for you so you can see. So uh, we're very high up in the car, which is pretty epic for being able to see apexes, but useless for being able to see that in sim dash. Uh, so we're gonna wanna get our seating position quite a bit lower in the car. So we will come back out of the car, we'll go back into control F12, and then we need to make some adjustments to the Z uh, offset here. Uh, let's maybe start going all the way down to a uh, 0.05, see what that looks like. And again, best thing is to just jump back into the car, switch on that dash, and it'll give you a sense of where things are at. So I don't mind that, um, it's pretty good. I still feel there's a bit too much of my dash uh, that is cut off there, you can see that as well. So maybe we're gonna come down just one more notch lower. 
um, in order to get that where we want it. So we'll come down to 0 0.06, again, get back in the car, switch on the dash, and then I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I can't see all of the dash, uh, so I'm going to make a bit of a compromise with some of the information there that's at the bottom. Um, you know, you can always use the black box uh, in order to gather some of that information. Um, but if I was able to see that entire in-sim dash, then I'd have quite a restricted uh, view over the top of the dash and outside uh, of the Lamborghini. So uh, I don't want to do that, make a bit of a compromise. And this is why the camera edit tool is great, is you can make these adjustments on a per car basis. It saves it every time, uh, and then you can just, you know, Tweak it uh, from race to race if you need to. Now, let's say uh, you are happy with the adjustments that you've made. Uh, we go back to control left 12, and this is a really important step if you want to save it. Um, we'll leave the values in. We won't touch anything else. All we do is go down to save car on the bottom right here. Now, I already had a default uh, car.cam saved, so this is gonna ask me if I want to overwrite it. If you're doing this for the first time, uh, it won't have a default camera saved in here, so you'll just be able to save it. But don't change the file name, leave it as the default. And by doing that, what's gonna happen is every time you jump into the sim, jump into the Lamborghini or any other car that you've created a custom camera edit file for, uh, it will load that uh, by default. So you don't need to come back into camera edit and load it every time. If you saved it as car.cam, that's gonna be the default seating position or default view that you're gonna see every Every time. So we'll hit save there. We'll hit yes. We can come out uh, of the camera edit. Again, just as a final check, we can jump into the car, make sure that we're happy with it, all looking good. And then that are all the steps you need uh, to customize that seating position on a per car basis. And for seating position, that is it. Um, you know, you repeat that process for every car, but you only need to do it once. And then from that point forward, really, you're just going to make minor tweaks, but you shouldn't really need to make any adjustments once you're comfortable with it. The only time I can see you making an adjustment might be if you replace the in-sim dash with maybe a physical hardware dash that you get. So therefore, it gives you a bit more flexibility in terms of what that seating position is. Um, but it's great. You can save it on a per car basis, uh, and then you just jump in. It loads that default seating position and then you are good to go. Look out for the next set of content in this series. Should be coming up in about a week's time from now. But until then, as always, thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.